Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the next video of our lab for EELD. So in the previous video, we discussed about the block diagram as well as creating the basic SDK code for comparing the performance of the HP and ACP port. Now, uh, what we are doing in this video is that we have modified the code uh, slightly so that we can uh, analyze the performance of the ACP port and the uh, HP ports in more fairer manner. So what I have done uh, compared to our lab three code, our the initial part remains the same. Uh, we are uh, doing the FFT on the PS using the same code. And in the main code, I have called the two sub function. One is for the uh, PS versus HP comparison. And second is the PS versus ACP port comparison. And the code in, the, in the, these two functions are exactly same uh, uh, except that the DMAs are different and the code is very similar to the lab three code. So look at the PFFT PS versus HP port. Here, what we are doing, we are doing the FFT configuration. These variables are defined as per the requirement. We are doing the, FF, the DMA configuration for the HP DMA. Then we are doing the for loop so that we can do the FFT multiple times. So because execution time of just one experiment may be may not be accurate. So what we'll do, we call the FFT multiple times, find out the execution time in each case, and then average out. So we have used this for loop to do that. In the each iteration of the for loop, we generate the randomly new data for the FFT input, like we did in the last lab. Then uh, we are doing the FFT on the uh, PS, that is processor, and we calculate the execution time. Again, we keep on adding the execution time so that later we can do the averaging. And we are also printing the execution time in each iteration. Then in the same fashion as the lab three, we are doing the FFT on the uh, PL via the DMA, but here we make sure that we use the HP DMA because this function is for the comparison between the PS and HP. So make sure that you use the HP DMA uh, IP here. Then uh, we find out the execution time and then we keep on some uh, accumulating the execution time for the HP. And at the end, we print the execution time, which is the average execution time. So along with the iterative execution time that at each iteration, what is the execution time? We also print the average execution time. And the same process, we also repeat for the function, which is for the ACP function. So this is the HP. So H ACP function, which is the same function which is of the HP, only thing is that instead of using the HP DMA, we use the ACP DMA, okay? Rest is the same. So what we will do is that we will analyze the now performance of the ACP and the DM. So again, I'll do the debug. Uh, I'm going to use the remote lab, so remote hardware. So I'll use the debug configuration. In the debug configuration, I'll start from the scratch. So I'll go to the debug, uh, system debugger, reset program, and then apply, and then I'll do the debug. So this uh, debugging is, uh, now the my APJ will get program, and then my co program code will stop at the first line in our main function, okay? So this has happened, then I'll start my JSAC, uh, the terminal so that I can see the UART display. Okay, so uh, this is my JTAG terminal and here all the displays, all the timing will be displayed. And now I'll run the code. Okay. So it looks like it has the breakpoint here. Okay, so I got the time here. Okay, so I think because of this uh, breakpoint issue, uh, the timing might be wrong. So what I'll do is that I'll quickly run this code again. So let's run this code again. Uh, deeper configuration. Okay, so we'll do the debug. Okay, so the code will stop 
at the first line, the main function. So I'll open the JTAG terminal. And Okay, it seems to be some issue. Let me figure it out. What is the problem? Okay, so the issue might be because of the remote hardware gets restart sometimes. So let's try it again. So debug, debug configuration. Debug. Okay, so let's run the code. And you now you can see that the execution time on an average. So you will see that the first one will always have the higher time and then the rest of the one will have the slightly lower. So this might be the reason that it takes some time for the initialization of the all the variables and all. So that's why in the beginning, the time is higher, but the later is time is less. So on an average, the HP ports takes 5.41 uh, microsecond, while the PS takes 2.91, while the ACP port is slightly faster, 5.37 uh, compared to the HP port. So we will verify it again one more time to just know that, just to be sure that whatever we are doing are is the values we are getting are the consistent value. So I'll run it again. So let's start the JTAG terminal and the, run the complete code. So again, if you see here, uh, the 2.894, that is same as the previous case, HP is also 5.4 and the SCP is slightly faster. Okay, this is what we usually see. What I'll do is that now instead of running the HP, in my uh, hello world dot uh, main function, instead of running the HP first, I'll run the ACP because right now ACP is faster. Let's see that whether by changing this order, uh, do we see anything uh, difference in the performance? So I'll do that. Deeper configuration. Okay, so let's look at the JTAG terminal and then run the code. Now you can see that the HP is again around that point 5.4, 5.39. And uh, you can see that ACP is again slightly higher. Uh, we'll uh, look uh, uh, again compared to the previous ACP where ACP was run second time, it is slightly higher but still it is almost not exceedingly higher than the HP port. Almost both are almost same. So I'll run it uh, again. So this is the weird uh, issue, which I'm not able to understand why it is happening, that the execution time depends upon the order of the one, uh, order in which we call those uh, particular DMA. But on an average, you will see that the ACP is slightly faster even if you take into account the initial latency, uh, you will see that the ACP is slightly faster. 
So 5.36 for the this one and 5.36. So even if the ACP has run uh, has been executed first here in the main dot one, still it is comparable to HP. And when you run the HP first on ACP, then it is at least 0.1 microsecond faster than the ACP. So this indicate that the ACP is usually faster than the HP. So in the next video, we'll discuss about the cross triggering.